So it's official, Disney wants to transport you around Walt Disney World using a gondola system. But we'll explain exactly where you're going to board the Disney Skyliner up next. Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack, this is DSMY Newscast, go ahead and subscribe down below as always, also hit that notification icon, and also whilst you're at it, check out Universal Newscast. But before we get into the news, I just want to address the recent passing of the Disney legend and the former president of Imagineering, Marty Scalar. As on Thursday, Marty passed away at the age of 83 years old but he left a huge mark upon the Walt Disney Company. As Marty Scalar was one of the last remaining employees who not only knew, but also worked alongside Walt Disney personally. As he wrote most of Walt's materials for use in publications and TV for the last 10 years of Walt's life. But he also attended every Disney park opening around the world to date. As he was there for Disneyland in 1955 and attended the opening of Shanghai Disneyland last year. But more than just that, as Marty's contribution was huge in the realm of Disney parks and what we love about them today, as he played a key role in the creation of Walt Disney World in 1971 and also Epcot Center. And then within Imagineering he also oversaw the development and construction of Tokyo Disneyland, Disney MGM Studios, Disneyland Paris, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Disney's California Venture, Tokyo Disney Sea, Walt Disney Studios Park in Disneyland Paris, and also Hong Kong Disneyland. So on behalf of all of the Waltoneers community, I would just like to say thank you to Marty Scalar for all of the magic that you helped bring to Disney parks during your 54 year career. But Marty always continued to uphold Walt's original vision of pushing forward and bettering the Disney parks. And that is exactly what Disney are doing with the new gondola transportation system called the Disney Skyliner. As this Disney Skyliner will be using fully enclosed gondola vehicles that will be able to provide a continuous flow to and from Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios. And now Disney have really started to push this idea of the Disney Skyliner. As we can see, courtesy of a view of the show, Rihanna, they've been providing these leaflets explaining the Disney Skyliner and what's going to be coming soon. But at the moment, the Disney Skyliner doesn't have an official opening date. But judging by the rapid pace of construction, it's going to be roughly at the end of 2018. Now I've reported on which hotel resorts and which parks the Disney Skyliner will actually connect in past videos. But we haven't yet discussed whereabouts exactly you'll be able to board the Disney Skyliner relative to the parks. So we all know that there will be a Skyliner station at the International Gateway over at Epcot, as we can see in the official map which was shown at D23 Expo, which I've had to find a copy of and then enhance it, as Disney still haven't released a high resolution version of it yet. But this Skyliner station will be exactly within this location on the map so you'll be able to easily access it from the boardwalk or from Epcot. Then the next stop for the Skyliner around Walt Disney World is the back of Disney's Boardwalk Hotel parking. But it's not quite clear yet whether this will be a station where you'll be able to board the Skyliner as it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And Disney more than likely won't want guests wandering through a car park to get to the Disney Skyliner. And then the next location will be the newly announced Disney Vacation Club's Riviera Resort. With these construction photos showing the progress, but don't expect the Riviera Resort to open at the same time as the Disney Skyliner, as Disney will more than likely be prioritizing the Skyliner station's construction over the 15th DVC property. Then the next stop will more than likely be the central hub of the Disney Skyliner. Judging just by the size of this one Disney Skyliner station, as it will go right in this location here, right next to the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort. But what's really interesting is the Skyliner station that they're going to be building over the Pop Century Resort as it's going to be built in the middle of Hourglass Lake, where you'll be able to board from the Pop Century Resort or Art of Animation Resort via the Generation Gap Bridge, which will finally give this bridge a real sense of purpose between the two resorts. 
but you've really got to wonder what will happen if one of these gondolas will break down over the top of Hourglass Lake, as it would make a lot more sense for Disney to build this gondola system over land for easy access in case of an evacuation. And so the final location of the Disney Skyliner will be right next to the lake at Disney's Hollywood Studios, which is the lake that connects Disney's Hollywood Studios to Epcot, with this Skyliner station providing an extremely close access point to the park's entrance. But what yet hasn't been announced about the Disney Skyliner is exactly how it will operate in getting you from Epcot to Disney's Hollywood Studios, in terms of whether you'll have to disembark the gondola and then reboard a different gondola to complete the journey, and also whether they'll eventually move ahead with the plans to add Animal Kingdom and Animal Kingdom Lodge to the Skyliner's route as well. And lastly for today, Disney Research have developed a new way that you'll be able to interact with Disney characters within attractions and also around the parks, as they've created something called the Magic Bench, which is a test example that will use mixed reality technology coupled with augmented reality to simulate live interactions with characters. Along with the use of actuators underneath a bench, you can feel the character sit and move right next to you. But this is only the beginning for this type of technology as they will be able to use it within Disney rides as well. For an example, probably the best use of this type of technology would be to add it to the final mirror scene in the Haunted Mansion where the ghosts appear within your Doom Buggy. But now, it's over to you, the Walton is. I would like to know how exactly would you use this magic bench technology within Disney parks? And which movie franchise or Disney character or Disney attraction would you add it to and how exactly would you implement it? And also don't forget to put the Hidden Mickey timestamp along with your suggestions so therefore you can be in with a chance to win a DSMI newscast pin. And also congratulations to Alonzo for winning from the video from yesterday all about the reopening of the Disneyland Railroad and the three new entrances into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge from other parts of Disneyland. So that's it for this video. Go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Leave a comment to be in with a chance to win a pin. And also give this video a massive thumbs up as it would really help this video get seen by other Disney fans and I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.